America's leaders have struggled to find a solution on immigration. It didn't work. To understand the battle over immigration reform, pass a bill. You have to go back decades. This issue uh, is not going uh, away. I've been involved in the immigration movement since I was 17 years old. My life is at stake. I am 29 years old. Uh, my DACA expires in about a year. And I love this country. Future generations of Americans will be thankful for our efforts to humanely regain control of our borders. This has been the ugliest, the most uh, painful issue I've ever dealt with. It's a no-win politically for those of us that have actually been trying to solve it. And sometimes what the different sides want is more complicated than you might think. All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The vast majority of illegal immigrants are decent people who work hard, support their families, practice their faith, and lead responsible lives. There are two factors that are often at the center of battles over immigration reform. The enforcement of current laws and how to handle immigrants who are already in the country illegally. It's kind of like the chicken and the egg, which goes first. I think they have to be done concurrently. You have to deal with both issues in a real way, in a serious way, and both sides are gonna to have to win some, and both sides are gonna to have to give in quite a bit if we're gonna get this done. It implicates the question of, of the rule of law and citizenship and how we define ourselves as a nation. When there are unjust rules, you break them and you try to figure out a solution on how to move forward. Myself and a couple of folks came really, really close. When we couldn't uh, get it done, it was one of the most painful uh, days in my legislative career. How are you, sir? It started with a promise from Senator Barack Obama in 2008. What I can guarantee is, is that we will have in the first year an immigration bill that I strongly support and that I'm promoting. We believed in the hope and the change that he talked about. We believed that he was talking about immigration. We didn't see that fulfilled. It was a broken promise. Obama won the White House with a margin of more than two to one among Hispanic voters. But with the economic crisis and health care soaking up much of his political capital, it wouldn't be until 2012 that the U.S. would see real action on immigration reform. That picture up there where Obama is giving me a big hug, he said, put your thinking cap on. I'll do the same. And we come back, I know I can't do immigration reform. Members of Congress. We've lost the House and we're weaker in the Senate, but tell me how we're going to protect them. In 2012, Obama rolled out the DACA program. Effective immediately, the Department of Homeland Security is taking steps to lift the shadow of deportation from these young people. Barack Obama took it on himself in 2012 to draw this line in the sand as if he were God after telling us for four years he lacked this kind of constitutional authority. Thank you very much, everybody. You specifically ruled this out, sir, last year. What gave him the right to decide where to draw that line? That was the end of the Obama administration's ability to actually move anything through Congress. The bipartisan legislation in 2013 fell through. This is an important issue in our country. It's been kicked around forever, uh, and it needs to be dealt with. And then everything changed. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some I assume are good people. Trump is a very savvy political animal. And he understood that Hillary Clinton had left a very significant hole in the center of the American electorate. We are going to build a great border wall. Donald Trump rode that issue in trade to the White House. And through identity politics and what they've, what's emerged now today, the Democrats are looking at immigration as vital to their future political survival. Donald Trump's election put pressure on both parties to deal with immigration. This president fundamentally has changed the discourse, not only in the Congress of the United States, but across America. It's going to require some trust, and it's going to require private, serious negotiations. My positions are going to be what the people in this room come up with. It's still unclear what the path forward might be for real reform. And in the meantime, real lives hang in the balance. It's always going to be a situation where there are far more people who want to come than the United States could ever possibly accommodate and still deliver basic services and a livable quality of life to the American people. I live every day thinking that this could be my last day. 
um, in this country. And that both scares me, but it also gives me a reason to keep fighting. <laughs>